today I'm going to show you how to change spark plugs on a Jeep Cherokee year 2000. Spark plugs you want to use for your 4 liter Jeep. Remove these bolts to take the coils out. One, two, three, and four. 13 millimeter socket. Now it's time to take out the coils. I reach back here and pull up, get it all separated. Then I recommend kind of push it towards the firewall and pull up like this. able to film that because it's kind of a two-hand job but you want to just shimmy this out of the way so that you can access your spark plugs which are in there. 5 eighths spark plug socket and an extension and a 3 eighths ratchet and you'll be able to just reach in and stick it on top of the spark plug. Once you have it on the spark plug you can just turn it counterclockwise to remove the old plugs. I'm gonna go ahead and install these first three plugs now, just because of the way the coils are, and then I'll do the th no other three after. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna make sure that this is gapped correctly, and you do that using this tool. Go ahead and take the tool, stick the spark plug on there like that, and you're gonna open the gap up to 35,000. When you're tightening these down, you really don't wanna tighten them down too much or else you'll strip out the threads in the cylinder head so just get it hand tight as hard as you can and about a quarter turn should do about that that much no more than that these spark plug sockets are handy because they actually hold this plug in place some of them have rubber inside and some of them have magnets but all we're going to do is just stick that right back in the plug hole and you want to try not to get any dirt inside the cylinder when you do that. Tighten it right up, hand tight. Once you get that on, another quarter turn, ought to do it. And that'll be plenty tight enough. Do not need to tighten these too much. Now we need to reconnect this coil unit, so you just need to be very careful with it and get it flipped around here again and make sure it's not getting caught on any wires or tubes. And then just turn it around like that, little by little, just finagle it in. We're aiming to get these little rubber 
coil tubes on top of each of the spark plugs. So you need to get all six of them aligned at once. Remember, just need to be patient here. One. Three, four, and five. Now you just want to push this down and make sure it's contacting all six of the spark plugs. Take our four bolts from earlier and we're going to drop each of them into place. Now your spark plug change is complete. Congratulations. Thanks for watching.